All right, so uh, this is kind of a neat little demonstration right here. Is this right here? Get the light to go. This is uh, what you would call nano platelets. Uh, we started with a different material, processed it a different way, and this is uh, the typical 20 to 40 layers thick material. Um, we've already concluded that through AFM and different other uh, measurement devices. AFM seems to be the most accurate way to see how thick your material is. But this is it, and you can see it's, it is what it is. And you, it's a fluffy, very light powder. But, get that off my hand, this is our graphene. And this is the one to three layer material. And it's very, very nice and moves around in the bucket all right. Just almost the same. The point of this video is simple. Uh, if you put these together and you look at it with the naked eye or with the phone, uh, outside of the level, which we have a lot more of this in this bucket than that in that bucket, um, you can't tell the difference. You can't tell with your naked eye that it's it, it just not going to happen. Um, because we're talking about particles that are literally one atom thick. <laughs> I mean, you got to think about it. And, and the particles are, you know, up to 15 microns in diameter. To give you an idea, 15 microns is extremely tiny. Much smaller than, a, you know, anything that you're going to see with your naked eye. I mean, it's down there where, you know, S-E-M-T-E-M can barely pick it up, you know? So, it kind of starts becoming hilarious when you see a lot of people making claims that they make graphene out of graphite. When, to make graphene out of graphite, it's not just that easy. Uh, an example is the fact that uh, the sonication method, you look at the sonication, uh, a lot of people use that there's a, you know, you put it in a DMF or whatever, NMP or whatever kind of material, or whatever solvent you're going to go. You stick graphite in there, chuck it in there, and then you sonicate it for uh, between, I've seen, 15 minutes to 4 hours. And the fact is that you only get like 1% this material. And then all the rest of the other stuff is graphite. Which is really just knocking the edges off the graphite. That's really what you're doing. To process it properly, it's it's very tough. Uh, that's why you've never seen any of the video. You know, none of my videos show the machines. You can hear them in the background, but and you see a little test stand of a oven and all that stuff. But really, in all honesty, to get that kind of scale of where like this comes directly out of the machine just like this out of the process you know you process it comes out of the machine bam this is what you've got um it's not easy let's just say that it's not so easy as you know the you saw the thomas swan does a surfactant in a kind of like a blender um that kind of method or sonication as well and the fact that it's like soap, basically, folks. Uh, so that doesn't that doesn't produce yields either. Very very small yields. So the idea here is simply this. Let's restate this uh, so that I, it's almost like a Robert video. <laughs> is to make graphene is not as easy as what you think it is, and you can't tell the difference between this and that. And if I Whereas over there, on the other end of the production line, where the raw graphite comes in, you can't, with the naked eye, well, you can, you can tell graphite from this, from this material and this material a little bit, but barely, and only because of, the, of its coarseness, original coarseness, that 325 mesh is pretty big material, you know, so, you know, it is what it is. But uh, it's just not, it just 
this just looks like to the naked eye it looks like milled graphite you know so you, you can't tell uh, and that's just what I wanted to knock out of the way you know so that folks can understand that thank you